Next, we will create the core insert. Turn off layer 5 and turn on layer 10. You will see the core solid and its split surface. As with the cavity, the first step is to close the holes. And as before, we will use the solid doctor. The holes where the tail lights will be fitted can be filled by removing their boundaries. The large hole in the middle is best repaired using a non-tangent surface, as it is flat. Exit the solid doctor. PowerShell will warn that the solid is not completely repaired, but again, that is OK. Use the sew command to stitch the surface into the solid. Next, we will use standard solid modeling operations to create the die inserts. Right click the solid and choose reverse. In PowerShape, you can easily tell the orientation of surfaces and solids. Inside faces are always colored red. Create a solid block and snap it to the center of the main flat face. View the part from the top and drag the edges of the block so that they fully enclose the part. Viewing the model from the front or side will allow you to reposition the block in Z. Dragging the cylindrical portion of the red arrow will allow you to reposition the block in Z. The blue arrow adjusts its height. You can also adjust the size of the block numerically by double-clicking it to raise the dialog. Set the X dimension to 330 and the Y to 215. These values are not critical as long as they are big enough to fully enclose the part. Select the block and use copy and paste to create an identical copy. Select the copy and move it to layer 5. Select the block and make sure that the active flag is shown red. Select the part and open the Solid Features toolbar. Use the Boolean Intersection command to obtain the single solid that is inside both. This is why it is important to know the orientation of open solids. Make sure that the new solid is on layer 10 and then turn on layer 5. Activate the solid block for the cavity half. Select the part and use the boolean remove command. The two die blocks are now complete.